Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and we are going to be discussing my pickup from Supreme Week 2. Congrats to anybody who took a W either in store or online today. Today's pickup is the Supreme Nike SB Dunk Low and this has the visual artist Ramel Z's artwork pronounced all throughout the silhouette. Let's take a quick sneak peek. <music> to another unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in today we'll be discussing my pickup from supreme week two this is a collaboration that was done with supreme and the nike sb team using the visual artist remelzy's artwork so we'll go through the overview on these jump into size and fit followed by how i styled this beautifully artistically colored sneaker and then we will conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market let's jump right into it so again congrats to anybody who was able to pick these up either in store or online i got these in store i took a huge l online i definitely was able to at least i guess get to the checkout page but of course by the time it tried to process it was already sold out in my size so again this did release in two different um uh, ranges. So this was the Nike SB Dunk Low and there was also a Nike SB Dunk High in a different color combination of white. So I decided to go with the low since I prefer the low silhouette version over the high. So again, this is the artist Ramel Z's artwork that is pretty much pronounced all over the silhouette. Starting with the front of the toe box, it looks very cool, almost kind of like there's splash tones of different colors and almost looks like a beautiful mural in some portions of the sneaker itself. But you are getting two different versions on each toe box. We do have that really nice gold Supreme uh, lace lock on the front there. Uh, this lace toggle also has been seen on another Nike SB Dunk. Let me actually pull it out here. So you're getting that same exact piece, which of course is a nice statement piece to add to the Nike SB Dunk. We've got black laces currently tied on there and a black mesh tongue, and it says Nike SB on the front in black. You also get some additional white laces. Let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. to the side panels we've got this nice new back suede on the nike swish mark and then underneath more of his different art pieces are present on both side panels on the medial and the lateral side we also get a hang tag with world famous supreme and nike on it which is what we typically get on all of the uh, nike sb dunk collaborations with supreme and then as far as the interior goes it is in red and white 
And then the sneakers completed with a black midsole and a gum bottom. So really cool. As you can kind of see, it's a little bit different artwork pieces spread throughout both angles of the sneaker itself, uh, but it kind of looks very abstract. It's honestly very hard to kind of make out what this looks like. This looks literally like the character from Big Town, Little China, I kid you not. I feel like that is the evil guy in that series, but it could be something else. Um, but really just cool color schemes that they've decided to go with on this. For those of you who are Ramblesy fans, uh, RIP to him, he passed away unfortunately at age 49. He was known as amazing visual artist and uh, he was actually a model for Wilhelmina as well. One of the things that he attributed to the hip hop scene was that he kind of brought the avant-garde scene over to hip hop. So really cool background and story about him as an artist and he just had some really incredible paintings and prints that they decided to use throughout this silhouette. You also have his name in the inside of the insole here. It says Ramel Z Estate 2023. All right, so let's take a look at all those details then move into size and fit. size and fit goes, I always highly recommend sizing up a Nike SD Dunks just because there typically is a lot of extra cushioning here on the tongue. Typically there's a bit more padding on the back of the heel here. You're actually not getting that. So uh, it's a little bit more roomy, I would say for a Nike SB Dunk, but I would still recommend at least going half a size up in this one. All right, so as far as styling goes, I decided to just kind of incorporate some of my older Supreme pieces into different looks. So for the first look, I wore just a simple black tank with my fuck'em varsity jacket. I felt like the color tones in that jacket really complemented all the tones I saw in this sneaker itself. And then uh, for the bottoms, I just wore some simple green sweat shorts. look I switched it up a little bit with a supreme water gun tee that had some nice neutral cream tones in it and red hues in it which also kind of matched the cream and red tones that you see pronounced throughout this color scheme and then I layered that with a nice just crop denim jacket with some wide length uh, and wide width denim pants And then for the last and final look, I decided to go all black with a black vest and some nice, just simple black cargo pants.
how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $138 and they're currently going between 375 to 530, depending on what size range you are. All right, everyone, again, congrats to anyone who picked up any pieces from the Supreme Week to drop. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill, this is Shea TV. We will catch you all on the next episode. Hey,